This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is on amalgamation of companies, which is a part of corporate accounting. This video is useful to the students who are reading for inter CA, IPC, IPCC, whatever you may tell. It is also useful to the students who are reading for BCom, Commerce Graduation. It is also useful to other professional courses like, like CS Executive, ICW, etc. And this video is also useful whosoever is studying Corporate Accounting and has amalgamation of companies is a part of their syllabus. This is this refers to accounting for amalgamation of companies. I want you to observe one sum on the screen. Read it. Now let me explain certain concepts. Jai Limited, Ishwar Limited decided to amalgamate their business and form a new company named Jai Ishwar Limited. For Jai Limited, assets and liabilities of Jai Limited are to be taken over at book value. And for every four shares in Jai Limited, five shares of rupees 10 each of Jai Ishwar Limited are to be issued at a premium of 10%. So as per this terms and condition, what payment is to be made is prescribed. All the assets and liabilities are to be taken at book value. So net assets are taken as per book value. We have to find out the value of net assets taken and the payment made there against. As per this terms and condition, if the payment made is excess, then the value of net assets it will be identified as goodwill and if the payment made is less than net assets acquired, it will be capital reserve, capital gain. So here the purchase consideration will be worked out on the basis of total payment made to the vendor. But in case of Ishwar Limited, just observe the terms and conditions. The debenture holders of Ishwar Limited will be paid by issue of equal number of debentures of rupees 100 in Jayeshwar Limited. So this debenture holders will be given in exchange the debentures of the new company, Jayeshwar Limited. Preference shareholders of Ishwar Limited will be allotted 5% preference shares of rupees 100 each for every 5 preference share sale. So preference shareholders also will be given preference shares as per this exchange. The equity shareholders will be allotted sufficient number of 10 each Jayoshwar Limited to cover the balance on account of reducing the value of plant and machinery by 10% and providing 10% bad debt is the one debtors. Sufficient number of equity shares are given to the shareholders considering reduction in the value of plant and machinery and making provision for bad debt is out. So for this Ishwar Limited, you can find out the value of net assets on the basis of this reduction and those net assets are to be paid from the payment of total net assets you are required to deduct the amount given for debenture holders and preference shareholders. The balance will be paid to equity shareholders in terms of equity share. So here the purchase consideration or the purchase price of Ishwar Limited will be calculated on the basis of net assets. Why? Because a sufficient number of equity shares are to be given. So what is that sufficient number of equity shares? That we are required to find out by finding out the value of net assets of Ishwar Limited. One more point to be observed by you is profit and loss account debit balance one like 40,000. So there is no question of giving anything for goodwill to Ishwar Limited. 
So net assets are to be paid to Ishwar Limited. So for Ishwar Limited, the purchase consideration is calculated on the basis of net assets or net assets or purchase price is calculated on the basis of net assets. While in case of Jai Limited, the purchase price is calculated on the basis of total payment made. So from total payment, if you deduct the value of net assets, if the payment is more, then it will be identified as goodwill or otherwise it will be capital reserve. These are the balance sheet given to me. Prepare necessary accounts in Ishwar Limited and pass general entries in the books of new company Joy Ishwar Limited. Now let us start. Let me start with the sum. As per my suggestion, here I am going to calculate the net assets under the title of what is purchased. Here I am going to write down the total payment made on the base in the title of what is paid. Now for Jai Limited assets and liabilities are to be taken at book value. So Jai Limited, so I want to consider Jai Limited. So Ishwar Limited is just taken out for few minutes. All the assets and liabilities are to be taken at book value. So plant is taken for 8 lakhs. Stock purchased for 1 lakh 20,000. Dators purchased for 1 lakh. Cash balance taken as it is 60,000. Creditors purchased 32,000. There are no debentures, so all the assets and liabilities are purchased. Now for every 4 shares in Jai Limited, 5 shares of 10 each of Jai Ushwar Limited are to be issued at a premium of 10%. So for 4 shares, 5 shares are to be given. But let us first find out how many shares are there in case of Jai Limited. So 8 lakhs divided by 10, 80,000 shares are there. As per the exchange ratio, For 4 shares in Jai Limited, 5 shares of Jai Ashwar Limited are to be given. How many shares need to be given for total 80,000 shares? So 80,000 into 5 divided by 4, you are required to give 1 lakh shares. So 1 lakh shares are given at a premium of 10% to Jai Limited as a payment against the assets and liabilities acquired. So 1 lakh into 10 and security premium 10%, 1 rupee is the premium per share. So 11 lakhs is to be paid against the assets and liabilities acquired. So if you work out the total of assets, it comes to 10 lakh 80,000. Deduct creditors, net assets. For that, payment made. 11 lakhs. This is how the purchase price is determined on the basis of total payment made. So write 11 lakhs over here. The excess payment is known as goodwill. 52,000 is the payment made for goodwill. Now after calculating this purchase price and payment for goodwill, I want to work out the purchase price for Ishwar Limited. On the basis of information given to me in the sum. Now here I bring the balance sheet of Ishwar Limited. This will be considered in light of these conditions. Debenture holders of Ishwar Limited would be paid. Paid up by issue of equal number of debentures of 100 in Ninja Ishwar Limited. The debentures are 2 lakhs. So these debentures are purchased at 2 lakhs and in conversion they will be given the debentures of new company. Preference shareholders will be allotted 4 preference shares of rupees 100 each. For every 5 preference shares, how many preference shares are there in case of Ishwar Limited? So preference share capital is 3 lakh. Each share is of rupees 100 each. So 3 lakh divided by 100, 3000 preference shares are there. Now as per exchange ratio, we are required to give preference shares of new company Jayoshwar Limited to the preference shareholders of Ishwar Limited. So what is the exchange? For 5 shares, 4 shares are to be given. How many shares need be given for 3000 total number of shares? So 3000 into 4 divided by 5, 2400 preference shares each of rupees 100 is to be given. So that will come on the payment side. Preference share given for preference shareholders to like 40,000. Ishwar Limited and this is the payment made 
for preference shareholders. For debentures are also purchased. <clears throat> Equity shareholders will be allotted sufficient number of shares. Now we want to find out this sufficient number of shares. Now for that, value of plant and machinery is to be reduced by 10%, so 8 lakhs minus 10%. 7 lakh 20,000 is the purchase by price for the plant. Dators are subject to 10% bed debt reserve. Dators are 50,000. 10% bed debt reserve there on 5,000. Dators are purchased for 50,000. Bed debt is of 5,000. Deducted there from in this fashion. Other assets are taken at book value. So stock purchased at 60,000. Cash 40,000 purchased, profit and loss account debit balance cannot be purchased, creditors liabilities purchased, total of assets minus liabilities, so we will get the net assets. Now this net assets, this is how the purchase price is worked out. <clears throat> now this purchase price is to be paid for that preference share for preference shareholders, preference shares given are 240,000. Remaining payment is to be made to equity shareholders in the form of equity shares of Jayoshwar Limited. So 575,000 minus 240,000. That works out to how much? 335,000. So 575,000 minus 240,000. 335,000. That is the payment in the form of equity share. Each equity share is of rupees 10 each. So divided by 10. So 33,500 shares are given. Now allotted sufficient number of shares of 10 each in Jayoshwar Limited to cover the business. On the account after re reducing value of plant and machinery by 10% and providing 10% value is out. So this is how sufficient number of equity shares are given. After this purchase consideration, purchase price is worked out, net assets purchased at the payment made. After preparing these working notes, I want to write down the journal entries in the books of purchaser Jayoshwar Limited. Business purchase account debit to liquidator of Jai Limited account credit. What is purchase? Payment made for goodwill 52,000, goodwill account debit, plant account debit, stock account debit, debtors comes in, debtors account debit. Cash account debit. Two creditors account credit. Two business purchase account credit. So in business purchase, business is made of these assets and liabilities they are purchased. So individual assets are debited, liabilities are credited. Difference between the assets and liabilities is credited to business purchase account. This is how business purchase account gets closed. Liquidator of Joy Limited account debit to equity share capital. to security premium account credit. This arrow is not from 240,000. It should come from here. Now the, <clears throat> I want to write down the journal entry for purchases of Ishwar Limited. Business purchase account debit to liquidator of Ishwar Limited. What is purchased? Plant account debit, stock account debit, debtors account debit, cash account debit. Two creditors, two debentures, two bad debt is out to business purchase. Now the payment is to be made to the liquidator of Ishwar Limited. Liquidator of Ishwar Limited account debit to equity share capital to preference share capital. Now I want to write down the entry for conversion of debentures to lakhs purchase. So debenture certificates were there or that of Ishwar Limited. I am required to cancel the debenture certificates of Ishwar Limited and issue the debenture certificates of Jayoshwar Limited. For that I write the entry, debentures account debit, debentures of Ishwar Limited account debit to debentures of Jayoshwar Limited account debit. This is a <coughs> conversion entry. This is how the entries are recorded for business purchase. Now, after recording these entries, I want to prepare a balance sheet as required as per schedule 3, these are the notes on accounts. 
These are the titles under which the notes or accounts are prepared. Plant and machinery, tangible assets, non-current tangible assets, stock inventories, current assets, letters receivable minus battery diesel, 145,000, cash and cash equivalents, 1 lakh, goodwill intangible assets, equity share of rupees Chinese, here I should have written authorized share capital issued and subscribed capital in detail, security premium, preference share capital of rupees 100 each, debenture will come in long term borrowings, creditors trade payable current liabilities, After preparing these notes on accounts, I want to prepare a balance sheet of Jayashwar Limited. These are the titles as per Schedule 3, in which balance sheet need to be reported. Now, equity share of rupees 10 each, preference share capital. Here you can write the details, number of shares, each of rupees 10, given for a consideration other than cash. You can write all those things. Reserves and surplus, security premium, debenture long-term liability, trade payable creditors, plant, goodwill, stock, leaders, cash and cash equivalents, have a total. This is how balance sheet is to be prepared as per Schedule 3. Now, these are the journal entries that I have recorded by solving the sum which I demonstrated at the last. This you have already learned while solving the sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed thanks to all of you.